All right, guys, what's up? So we got the, it's a 2010 5.7 liter V8 Toyota Sequoia. Silver in all her glory. And today I'm doing serpentine belt replacement. Um, so upon startup in the morning when it's cold or if it's uh, a little bit of moisture in the air, it squeaks really bad and once it warms up it goes away but it's really annoying and it's driving me nuts so got this continental serpentine belt picked it up at AutoZone yesterday for can it focus 55.99 so all right first things first before you get started on anything I got a half inch breaker bar the only reason I'm using that is just due to length. When I'm under the car, I'm gonna want this longer bar instead of a short stubby ratchet to um, attach my 14 millimeter socket to the tensioner. Also, go ahead and get set up with your, what is this, a uh, 12 millimeter socket on your drill or impact ahead of time because we are gonna be dropping the skid plate and it is a pain in the butt if you're trying to do it by hand, you know, uh, it's just straining your neck all that stuff so I like to just get in get out when I'm underneath there I don't like being under there and tweaking my neck so um, half inch breaker bar you can use 3 8 that's fine uh, just the one I have is half inch so half inch with a 14 millimeter socket and then a 12 millimeter on your impact for dropping the uh, skid plate all right so let's do it I'm gonna show you in a second. Once I loosen it, I can shove an Allen wrench in there or any kind of pin essentially in this hole behind it. Uh, I can't really reach my arm up there. So this is the tensioner, this one here. Right here, once I pull this back and relieve the tension, I'll be able to slide a pin in right here to hold the tension off so I don't have to hold the bar the whole time. You'll see. Okay, so. Slide this Allen wrench so Basically there's that lip right there on the tensioner and then there's a hole behind it so once you relieve the tension you can slide the allen wrench into the hole behind it and then as the tensioner comes back around it has that edge on it right there that catches the edge of the allen wrench and keeps the tension off the belt so check this out look i'm not i'm not holding the wrench at all right now but you can see that You can see that the belt is completely loose, so now I can work without having to hold the wrench on the whole time. So, all right, now let's get after it. All right, so having a look at the old belt, it really doesn't look bad. I don't know why it's squeaking so much. Um, I don't really see any dry rots or dry cracks, anything like that starting to happen. So, it's kind of weird. Okay, so before you take the belt off, I already have, obviously, but you're gonna make sure you take notes on the orientation of the belt before you take it off, because if you don't route this thing back on properly, you're gonna have major problems. So it's really important that you get it back on correctly. I like to take a little video with my phone. You can even take the time, draw a little diagram or map. Uh, some cars have it listed up here in the hood or somewhere along here that you can refer back to But I don't see that anywhere on this car. So The smartest thing to do is take a video and also draw a little diagram But uh, on this one it comes Over the AC condenser up over this pulley All the way over to the alternator Down around a pulley down there Then it comes 
uh, once it goes down over that idler pulley, it comes up over the tensioner, then down under the crankshaft. It comes up off the crankshaft and onto the top of the water pump and then back down to the AC condenser again. So if you don't write it down and you get lost, you can just refer back to this video. Again, and then the Allen wrench should fall out or I might have to pull it out. Allen wrench is loose, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull it out. It's out, so now when I let go, it's going to tension up the belt, the wrench comes off. And we're done. Double, triple, quadruple check yourself on the mapping of the belt. And then fire up the car, make sure it's good. All right, so job is done. Most nerve wracking part, starting it up. If you do your due diligence, you shouldn't be nervous about this part, but I still get nervous because You never know. It's really hard to see. And it's easy to fuck it up. So, here goes nothing. All right, y'all, so if you're interested in these videos, if you found any value from it, please drop a like, drop a comment, go ahead and follow, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be posting all the routine maintenance that I do. Uh, I have a Toyota Tundra. I have this Toyota Sequoia. I have this Project Audi S4 over there that I'm doing a lot of repairs and modifications to. It's a wrecked, um, it's a wrecked S4 that I'm rebuilding and modifying. So if you wanna see everything I'm doing to that, Stay tuned, and I'll be posting a lot more routine maintenance and stuff that you can be doing to your own cars um, as well. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.